hello fellow travelers welcome to our channel my name is Lorena this little baby over here is Emma and we're gonna take you with us in a travel around Europe pet friendly edition first stop Madrid <laughs> In Madrid, we headed to Parque Retiro, but not before grabbing some breakfast in a pet-friendly coffee shop right in front of the park. I had to do some research before finding this place because, let's be honest, Madrid is not exactly the most pet-friendly place. But the tea and the cake was so good that I didn't mind. With our tummy satisfied, I unleashed Emma adventurous spirit in the park. She was over the moon surrounded by trees and leaves, so I set her free and let her be. So our plans to see the Crystal Palace were full by renovations. We made the most of our visit in Marin de Alfonso 12 monument and the Embarcadero. A little tip, take your time in the park. It's huge and packed with fascinating sights. If the weather is nice, take a seat and savor the views with your fairy friends. When we were there, it started to rain, so we ended up leaving a little bit fast. But we walked in front of the door of Apcala, but they were in renovation again, so we could only see it from outside. Even though we ended up having a little bit of rain, we didn't let that stop us. And we took the metro to the other side of the city because we were going to take the Teleferico. Sadly, she was only allowed the Teleferico if she was going inside the carry bag which I didn't have because we were walking around the city. I think the metro is one of the best options to move from one place to another in the city because if you have a big dog, the bus is not gonna be an option since you need to carry your dog in a carry bag. Taxis and Uber are other options, but always they are more expensive. If you're gonna use the metro, always be aware to use the muzzle and the leash of your dog, otherwise, you can maybe have a ticket because they are traveling without them. So always be careful about that. We ended up walking a little bit under the rain and we went inside El Corte Inglés. They allowed us to go inside in there since Emma is a small dog, they didn't have any problems, but big dogs, sometimes it will depend on the person that is in the door. I knew this place on Instagram called the Casa Loca, where they print the photo in the foam of the coffee and sadly i don't have a video of the machine because my phone died but i have this picture it was super cute and the people over there were so nice and we promised to come back another time after being all day under the rain we decided to go back to our airbnb to relax and just enjoy the rest of the night day two in madrid we decided to go to plaza del callao and walk from there to the palacio real Sadly, it was still raining, but we took shelter in some of the stores that were in the way and we grabbed some meal and continued walking to the palace. We took some photos and continued walking to the Sabatini's garden and from there we went uphill to the Templo de Devot. Sadly, it was still raining, so we took some photos and some videos. But if you have a better day than ours, you can always go when the sun is going down or when it's rising, and you will have beautiful views of the city. From there, we passed by the Plaza España and tried to get inside the hotel room, but sadly, dogs are not allowed. Otherwise, there's a terrace in the rooftop where you can see the whole city. After a long day of walking under the rain, we decided to get back to the Airbnb, take a long shower and call it for the day. We had a bad weather in Madrid and there was a lot of activities that we couldn't do because they're not pet friendly, but don't let that stop you from go to Madrid with your dogs. Just always check in the websites of the places that you want to go to see if dogs are allowed or what are the requirements to get inside with them. That's all for this time, but don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Till next time and have a great time. Bye. <laughs>